Hi everybody, I'm Melissa from cloudmom.com. Welcome back to my pregnancy week to week series. As I explained earlier, I am no longer pregnant. I gave birth to my baby Bracy at 30 weeks of pregnancy. But I wanted to finish up this series for you guys. So here we are, this is week 33. Let's take a look. At 33 weeks, your baby likely weighs approximately 4.5 pounds, measures 17 inches, and is the size of a pineapple. One thing you might be noticing this week is decreased fetal movement. This stems from the fact that your baby has gotten bigger and there just simply is less room in which your baby can move around. At this stage in your pregnancy, your baby is pretty much done growing lengthwise. However, their weight will double in the next eight weeks. Your baby's skull, however, won't be formed until a few weeks postpartum. Fontanelle are the soft spots in your baby's skull and they allow the baby's skull to remain soft enough so that your baby can pass through the birth canal. Check out my website for more detail when it comes to this, but this is a good time to get ready the bag you're gonna be bringing to the hospital. The first thing you wanna have is whatever documentation you might be required to provide. Forms required by your hospital, insurance forms, maybe even a birth plan, that kind of thing. All the administrative stuff you wanna make sure to have on hand and handy, of course, including your insurance card. The next thing I would make sure to bring are the right clothes for you. You wanna have one to two pairs of comfortable pajamas and I would have a button down shirt in case you plan to nurse. You wanna have at least two nursing bras. These can get soaked in the early days of breastfeeding when your milk is not that well regulated. So you wanna bring one and you wanna bring an extra. You also wanna have nursing pads that you place in the bra to catch the excess milk so that you don't get your bra wet. I would bring some tank tops like this that keep you warm and cozy and they're very easy to breastfeed in because you just like lower, you know, this part and you can easily breastfeed. I would bring some socks, maybe a pair of sweatpants, like a pony to hold or a scrunchie for my hair if you need that kind of thing. Just like easy, comfortable clothes that you're gonna feel comfortable wearing in the hospital during the first day or two after your baby is born. For your baby, you just wanna bring a few simple things. You might wanna invest in some side snap t-shirts. You can also do a onesie, just a simple short sleeved bodysuit kind of thing with snaps on the bottom. I would bring a few of those. I would bring maybe two to three pairs of simple infant pajamas. You might choose to bring a hat. I guess you could bring some socks, just very simple things. Your baby likely in the day or days after he or she comes out will just be in a little side snap t-shirt provided by the hospital and a diaper and won't be wearing additional clothes. But you can have these clothes just in case you need them and in particular for the trip home. The next thing you wanna bring are your toiletry items. You might be allowed to take a shower after you have the baby before you go home. And you wanna make sure you have the special things that you need because in all likelihood, the hospital is not gonna provide them. So these could include dry shampoo for your first picture with the baby. And after that point, regular shampoo, conditioner, body wash, body lotion. I know your partner's gonna be like, how many things can you bring? You know, face cream, eye cream, makeup, whatever you need, a blow dryer, whatever you need to feel great and clean and refreshed during the first few days after your baby is born and that the hospital in all likelihood is not gonna provide. Finally, you wanna have all your like techie organizational type stuff. A book, I would bring a baby name book if you haven't decided on a baby name, a charger, maybe you even want your computer, you wanna have like headphones if you need them, all that kind of stuff. So get all this stuff together. You could probably put it all in one bag. You don't need an additional diaper bag. And that's just gonna make you feel a little more ready and organized when it comes to your baby's arrival. For diet, we really have the same rules we've had all the way during the pregnancy. Try to stick to them because the healthier you are, the more energy you're gonna have, the better you're gonna feel postpartum. You wanna avoid raw fish. You wanna avoid unpasteurized cheeses. You wanna avoid fishes that are high in mercury. You still have to stay away from alcoholic beverages. It'll be really nice to have that first glass of wine after your baby comes. Just try to stay disciplined when it comes to these rules. In terms of what you want to eat, you wanna make sure you have 
foods that are very high in protein, high in vitamin D, high in vitamin Bs, that kind of thing, fiber, because it can be tricky to go to the bathroom. I've got a handy recipe up on my website for each and every week, and I hope you guys are enjoying them. They're very easy to make just to sort of keep things interesting. In terms of a checklist, you want to confirm your week 34 doctor's appointment, get your hospital bag ready, as I just went through, and keep eating healthy, drinking tons of water, getting your rest, and staying excited for the arrival of your baby. I will see you guys back next week. Thank you so much for watching cloudmom.com. Thank you.